All right, guys. So look, I'm at the I'm at the Dollar Tree right now. I've heard that there's some cheap DVDs and Blu-rays, some new stock in. So I'm gonna go inside that Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree back there. I'm gonna see if they got anything. They may not have anything. I may just walk in there and it's all the same crap because that happens more often than not. But you know, I just wanted to do a Dollar Tree video. So let's go into Dollar Tree. We might find something. We might not. But you know, I'm gonna take you all along. For this Dollar Tree journey, you always love coming on the Ken Dollar Tree journeys, right? They're always somewhat interesting. Uh, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's let's go into Dollar Tree. And man, I don't know what it is, but this Dollar Tree is packed. There's like cars everywhere in this parking lot. Uh, so yeah, if they have movies, they're probably gone. But we're gonna do it anyway. All right, guys, so I am outside of the Dollar Tree and I was actually pleasantly surprised. I don't know if they got like a full restock or anything like that, um, but I actually found some good stuff. Like maybe it was in there the last time I was in there. I just overlooked it, but I think some of this stuff um, is new. And yeah, I just, uh, you know, I'm at the point right now where I like doing the Dollar Tree hunts. I like going to the Dollar Tree, but I used to buy a lot of trash um, at the Dollar Tree just for these videos. So I would just buy trash and come out here and show them to you and have a good laugh. I'm not really trying to do that anymore. So I'm really trying to be more picky. I've got, I got three, uh, DVDs right here and I got one Blu-ray and they're all movies, uh, that I may watch at some point. Actually, a couple of them I've already seen. I just wanted to add them to the collection. Um, and I don't really care about buying DVDs as long as it's a movie that I really like. And I think a couple of these DVDs actually uh, don't have Blu-rays. But again, I could I could be wrong about that. But some of these movies I just want in the collection because I really enjoyed the movie. But let's go ahead and get into my first uh, Blu-ray that I picked up. And I grabbed 300. And I'm pretty sure this is uh, 300 Rise of an Empire. But it's one of those like uh, Canadian releases, I'm pretty sure, that has the French... Uh, writing on it. So uh, Dollar Tree seems to get a lot of uh, 
Blu-ray uh, titles from Canada, and they put it out. I mean, it, you can watch it. It's fine. It's in English and everything, or it has that option. Uh, but just the actual like slipcover and title itself on the Blu-ray case will be in the uh, you know French writing. So I went and got 300 Rise of an Empire. I don't have this in the collection, and it had the slipcover with it. So yeah, that was kind of a no-brainer. Really nice slipcover too. Uh, seems to be in great condition, still in the plastic. So I have not seen this 300 sequel. I've of course seen the first one, and this doesn't have a 4K yet. I don't know if it actually will get a 4K. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, on Blu-ray, and I also got, to, now this one might be a trash horror film, it might not be good, but it was, it did come out from Screen Factory, it's a Screen Factory DVD, and I remember when it came out, it's called Let's Scare Julie, so I actually don't know if I've heard anything about this movie, anything good or bad about it, but I figured, you know, it kind of looked like a, a fun uh, slasher type movie. I'm not really sure what it's about. I'm not really sure what the uh, premise of it is. Maybe it's horrible, but I figured, you know, I'll add it to the collection. I'll give it a watch someday. It feels like at least somewhat of a, of a, of, I can't talk ever, uh, of a legitimate uh, horror film. It kind of actually from the cover and just with the all girl cast kind of reminds me of uh, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies a little bit. So anyway, I don't really know uh, the premise or anything. I'm trying to look at it right now, but I don't want to waste your all's time. Let's scary Julie. I got it. If I got, if it's crap, let me know in the comment section below. I would definitely, um, you know, like to hear it. Now these next two that I'm going to show, I've already seen and they're great movies. I was really excited to find this one. Three identical strangers. This is about these three, uh, triplets that were separated at birth and raised by three different families. They didn't even know each other existed until later on in life till they grew up. And it goes into that and how, and it kind of tells the story of them all meeting together for the first time. And there's some other things going on like behind the scenes. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's something that happens like right in the middle of this movie that just changes the context um, of the entire film. It just makes you change everything that you thought you believed about these three uh, triplets before. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a it's a really good documentary though. It is a documentary. I, I watch documentaries occasionally from time to time. Um, I don't always gravitate towards them, but whenever I watch one, I always love it. And I'm just like, I need to watch more documentaries, and then I just never get around to it. But Three Identical Strangers, I did watch. It was really interesting, and I think that this one only has a DVD release. I don't think they ever put this one out on Blu-ray. So I was happy to find this DVD release and add this one to the collection because this is a really great um, documentary. And then the last one I got is uh, is Brad Status. And uh, this has got Ben Stiller in it. This is directed by Mike White, who also wrote Orange County. He's also doing uh, The White Lotus right now on HBO, which I'm watching. I love that show. Um, he, I think he's writing that show. But uh, this is directed by, uh, written and directed by Mike White. This is a really, really great movie. I love this movie about a dad that kind of has to let go of his son as, he, as he's entering college and going to college. And it's just a really heartfelt story. It's a sweet story. But also it's like, it's really, it's really funny as well. And Ben Stiller just knows how to bring that dry wit and that, that humor. And again, it's been a long time since I've seen this. I watched this back in 2017. But I remember it, it being in my top 10 movies of that year. I loved it that much. Uh, but Brad Status, if you haven't seen this, I have not seen this movie anywhere. I don't, I don't know. I feel like this one might have a Blu-ray, but I'm not 100% if this one has a Blu-ray or not. But I went ahead and bought it on DVD because I may want to watch it at some point. I just want it in the collection. Got a good uh, cast in it. It's got Ben Stiller, Austin Abrams. I'm pretty sure uh, Austin Abrams uh, is in the show Euphoria. He's popped up in some other movies. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head uh, what movies he's been in. But he's been in some stuff. It's got Luke Wilson in it as well. It's got Michael Sheen. It's got Jenna Fisher. Um, it's got Pam from The Office in it. So really great cast in this one. I highly recommend Brad Status. You can probably find it on streaming uh, if you want to watch it. But it's a really great movie with Ben Stiller. Uh, probably one of his better performances, if not his best performance. And again, written and directed by Mike White, the same guy who's doing The White Lotus right now on HBO. So that is my haul from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I'm pretty happy with this haul. This is a good stack of movies um, and I'm happy to add them to the collection so I appreciate you guys watching this Dollar Tree 
hunting video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already liked this video. Comment down below if you found anything cool at your local Dollar Trees. Let me know what you grabbed. Let me know what you think of my pickups as well. Turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.